do you ever think you're going to stop daily vlogging? That's a really good question. We haven't talked about this in a while. No. So, um, no, we're going to do this till the day we die. So, <laughs> we'll be like Good morning! Now early to run a bunch of errands. I need to get, well, first of all, luggage. Like, a good quality luggage. I just need one for the girls for when you need to do long travels and stuff. I just need a bigger, because I have like a bunch of small luggages. And I'm also gonna get gifts for our friends and family over in Tokyo. Look who I found at the drugstore. Missy Lynn, woo! You're working with Maybelline. You go, girl. Okay, so I walk into the drugstore to get some toiletry stuff because, yes, I left my toiletry bag in Missouri in my cousin's bathroom. So anyway, I walked in there to get that and then I came out with three huge bags of candy. The Halloween candy was 70% off. So like these bags of candy were two bucks. And then there are these M&Ms that were a dollar. And these are going to the Philippines. My mom is going there next month. Something about American chocolate that the kids just love. Yes! Who gets as excited about vegetables and fruits as I do? But I am excited to be here. Good to be back. Traveling a lot. You know what? I'm happy that we're gonna be leaving to go see my family, but it's gonna be good to get settled back and get ready for Dance Ember um, after Tokyo, but I am excited to see my family in Tokyo for the girls to see their great-grandparents. That's awesome. Here at Toomey, I found the luggage that we need. It looks almost exactly like the one I already have, except it's just a little smaller, so this is perfect for all the girls. I got my gift shopping done. I am all set to go. So I just left the bank and Michelle, hi Michelle, the teller watches our vlogs. I thought that was really cool. She said she likes watching our vlogs and The Sherman Show. The Shermans are one of my favorite vloggers as well, but I thought that was neat. And so hi Michelle and hi to your daughter because I guess she watches too. Anyway, time to go home and finish packing. Uh, today I'm gonna focus on the girls' clothes and also like my toiletries and stuff. Um, and maybe I'll film a video, I don't know. Oh my goodness. You guys hear that? Not the sound of the garage closing, but sound of silence. No one's home. Daddy's not even home. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna bask in this moment. I mean, that, like, I love being around my family. Like, my family is my pride and joy. But sometimes it's nice when you're just by. It's nice when you're just by yourself at home. You know what I mean? So in the new luggage, I have all the girls' clothes. I also have gifts in here and all their coats and jackets. Um, I'm almost done with my luggage, but I just have to add my makeup. I found this travel kit that has like literally everything I need. Well, no, not everything, but the toothbrush, toothpaste, comb. And it was so cute, it was only 10 bucks. Ooh, curling iron. I'm gonna bring the one I bought at Japan several years ago because some of my US curling irons don't work there. This one, isn't this cute? They have the cutest stuff in Tokyo. Hey, Juliana. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you okay over there? Can Auntie Belle see the movie too? Benji always has all these cool ideas for like it's Judy time and it's Judy's life. While I'm editing, my attention span is very short and I get very like, oh, whenever Benji <laughs> disrupts me while I'm editing. So he talks super fast. <laughs> the thing is, even when he talks fast, he still never gets straight to the point. <laughs> I'm a storyteller. God. You know what you should do? You should just have a storytelling channel. And it would just be about organic food and juice. Well, I mean, no, no, no. That's mean to say. I mean, that's so. There's people that would like to watch that, but I'm it's just teasing. I'm just teasing my called, husband. It's called Benjamin I love TV. You. Yeah. But there's a lot of cool like opportunities for us, and the most exciting one is Dance Ember. And Dance Ember is like Benji's baby. Mm -hmm. Totally, Benji is the mastermind behind it. Cause but we do it together for yeah, sure. Yeah, he does. I couldn't do it without you, obviously. I couldn't do it without you. It's so crazy. Shh, you're so loud. Did you drink coffee or something? No, I didn't drink it. I had water. I had salmon. Um, for Dan Sember, Benji 
and Alejandro, one of our friends, had this really awesome idea to get some of you guys involved in a fun way, but also you get like, anyway, I'll just save that for later. We'll do a, a video on that later. And I'm doing another Blue Apron because you really have like no food for complete meals <laughs> since we're leaving so soon. Roasted pork and delicata squash. I'm looking for one of the ingredients, which I can't find it. Did I accidentally throw it away? Oh my gosh. No. Whew. All is well. I found it in the back of the fridge. Hello? Oh, can I have a bite? Hello? Mm. Oh. Mm. Thank you. Go oh, ahead and go. Come on. Uh, thank you. Okay, go to daddy. Whoops. I may have burned a few pieces. <laughs> And also, I think I, um, I think I cut the squash a little too thin. Oh my gosh. Wow, there's like two pieces that are edible. Why wouldn't you have the same though? Does it make Is it yummy? Here, let me try that. You make that look good. Mmm, it's sweet. Oh, really good. There's some gravy sauce on it too. It's yummy. Yes, it is hot. Just eat it. It's not hot. Yes, it is. Oh, you just couldn't wait. <laughs> Do you want some rice with that? So dinner is served. We got a kale salad with this uh, grain. Um, some pork. I with smell, squash. I smell like something. What do you smell? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. And then I cooked mac and cheese because since the pork is too tender for the girls, or too tender, it's too tough. Honey, this mac and cheese is for them. <laughs> Let's get to watch a movie today. Special day. Special movie Friday, honey. <laughs> Special movie Friday. <laughs> Special movie Friday. Special movie Friday. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need a nice baby. Mmm. My squash on um, point. I take a piece of meat. Yeah. Eat it with a squash. Is there any more squash? I've burnt a lot. Honey, it's hella good. I want to burn it first. Yeah, it's hella good. This is a little more burnt than I was thinking, but still. <laughs> I don't. The burnt gives it a good like a candy. flavor. Okay, well I'm glad. Benji actually likes the burnt part. Good thing I didn't throw him away. So I'm done ending for today. And the vlog is really short because we didn't vlog that much. But I figure today would be a good day to do a QA. Oh, okay. You ballerina! <laughs> Juliana's not in ballet class right now since we're gonna be gone the next few weeks. I don't know why I thought the ballet class that I signed her up for would be several months, but it was only in like a month and a half. So, uh, yeah, so unfortunately, I, I just didn't want to put her in another class if she would be missing like more than half of it. Look at my new skirt, mommy. It's awesome. Yeah, I changed it. <laughs> what happened to other Juliana? Oh no! Don't drink it! Are you excited to go to Japan? You get to see Great Obachan and Great Ojichan. Ojichan? What does that mean? That means Great Great Grandfather. We're going to be leaving soon and we're going to go to another country. We're going to go to airplane. Airplane? Yeah! With baby sisters? But baby sisters are not coming. They are coming with us. Are they not little? No. Are you excited? Um, yes. Okay, let's wash our hands. Mm. Anything else? <laughs> the 
girls are finally down. They definitely went down like way past their bedtime. It'd be cool if this was live on Periscope, huh? Haley asked, how has life changed in the past two years? Is there anything you miss or regret? The obvious. We have a family of five, which mm -hmm. is crazy. I never, never expected five. Like, I thought we would be a family of four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'd have a boy and a girl, and that's it. We have Mia and Kira, twins. Oh my gosh. That's like the biggest surprise. So the question is, do we regret or miss anything? I have absolutely <laughs> no regrets. I mean, okay, okay. So the one thing I miss is being able to just up and leave mm -hmm. whenever I wanted to do something. How about you? What do I miss or regret? Well, I don't think about regret very much, if at all. But what do I miss? I miss going to movies. Oh, I used to go to movies like at least once a week, but I do love my life right now, so don't miss very much. So this next question is from Arpita on Twitter, and she writes, What is the key to having a successful and loving relationship, the kind that you share with Benji? I mean, I don't know if I'd say like our relationship is successful. In fact, our relationship is still pretty new. We've been together for just about 10 years. Number one, you've got to be yourself from the very, very beginning. That is really important to be as honest as you can be. If you're like a serial killer, maybe not be <laughs> not honest. No, I'm just kidding. And those are the two things I think are most important for a successful relationship with a boyfriend or girlfriend, or as a married couple, I'd or just in life. Number one is communication. When okay. you don't have communication, uh -huh. like how are you able to build on your relationship when you don't talk to each other? You don't know what your partner is thinking. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could do landscape view on Periscope. That's new. Oh, snap! Third piece would be uh, you've got to understand what's important to your spouse. Yeah, don't okay. assume they want what you want. Love language. We learned that in like counseling. Or what is your love language? Because ours are different. Yeah, totally. Okay, one more question. Someone asked, where do you buy your underwear? So, <laughs> really? You want that to be the last one? Uniqlo is the place I buy my underwear. Okay, mine is the obvious Victoria's Secret because they really have like good deals when they have sales. But also a place that I didn't expect would actually have good quality underwear and comfy. Target. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, here are the good one. Do you ever think you're going to stop daily vlogging? Do you ever get tired of it? Love you guys. I hope you never quit vlogging by Emily. That's a really good question. We haven't talked about this in a while. No. So, um, no, we're going to do this till the day we die. So, <laughs> we'll be, we will not be vlogging forever. We've actually talked about this. We don't know how, how far in the future that will be. But, number one, it's for our kids' sake. We don't want them to be on, on camera. Like... Well, every single day. Two, there's a lot of work, especially for Judy. Three, we love sharing our lives with you, but at one point, you just might want to keep things a little more private. I mean, even to this day, like, since day one, we've kept stuff private that we wanted to. You yeah. know, we share what we want to Top share. Top secret FBI, but CIA totally, stuff. Totally, I agree with you when it comes. <laughs> When it comes to our kids, and especially with their future, we wouldn't want our girls to go to school and then be bullied by other kids or saying like, oh, I yeah. saw what you did yesterday, I can't believe you did that. The day it happens, whether it's a year from now, three years, ten years, I feel like you'll start doing other videos again more often. Yeah. So not at every single day vlogs, right. but we'll do different types of videos. I don't think we'll completely be gone from YouTube. That's one thing I do believe. But there is a big difference between daily vlogging and just like putting up videos, you know, periodically for your other passions. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways.
anyway, thanks for your questions, guys. Thanks, everyone, on Periscope and Periscope. on it's Twitter. CD Time, Benjamin TV. Check us out.